don't you just love making a pattern that you've already made and well it comes together so nicely but in a different type of fabric well that's what happened with this Vogue 1802 dress let me tell you all about it One, two, three, four. I'm Adi with Mighty Souls and thanks for hanging with me you all so today I wanted to tell you all about Vogue 1802. Now this is a pattern that I've actually made before. I've made the short version that you can check out here um, without the ruffle at the bottom. This time around I decided to add the ruffle because I was going to a special event and well I just I love myself. I just love a good maxi. Who doesn't? So a couple of details about this pattern. This pattern was actually pretty simple to sew together. The sizing comes in small to extra large. I made a size large with some adjustments and you can do either the short version or the longer version that has the ruffle at the bottom, which is what I opted to do this time around. So the fabric that I used here this really beautiful fabric. It's a Rifle Paper Co. Um, design that I think Cotton and Steel distributed. I'm not, I'm not sure what the relationship is there, but both those names were in the fabric when I bought it. It's a rayon chalet and it just feels really beautiful against the skin. Now you can see here the actual collar around the neck. This is quite high. I did reduce the height of this in the front where it attaches up into that um, shoulder seam actually, I reduced it by about an inch so that way it wouldn't just come up too high. I intentionally left this longer than what I would have typically if I was using a cotton because this is a drapier fabric and so when it's on it does do this like nice little drapey effect in the front. So I'm happy that that really worked out. When I made the version in Ankara fabric, which is a stiffer cotton fabric, I had to fold that collar in half because it was just so wide and it, it, it was kind of not, not, giving, not giving me the best <laughs> that it should have been. So I did fold that cotton in half. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're using a nice drapey fabric, you may want to consider leaving the length um, or the width, I should say, of this actual collar piece as is. But if you're using something that's a little stiffer, like a cotton, maybe even a linen, you may want to reduce that size. As I mentioned earlier, it does connect around the front and it stops here at that shoulder seam. And the rest of the collar down here is finished with a bias tape. There is a keyhole opening in the back that... I really didn't need actually maybe next time I'll omit it but there's this keyhole opening I can't I can't there's a hook and eye that's just not opening up right now for me <laughs> but there is one in there that keeps that closed the arm side are finished with bias tape and when I hem the dress I actually use my wonder tape um, which is my favorite way of hemming I put it on the bottom flipped it under because wonder tape is a quarter inch double stick tape. So I flipped that under and then I just went ahead and hemmed it my seam allowance. This fabric hemmed wonderfully. It pressed nicely. It, it was just a real dream to sew with, which was actually really convenient considering that this was one of the makes that I had chosen to kind of help me get out of my sewing funk. And well, I, I think it absolutely did that. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to tell you that this dress has pockets. Which is always really kind of welcome, right? I mean, come on, we like dresses with pockets. If you're making this pattern, the one thing that I would highly recommend you consider doing is raising the armhole. It's quite a big arm size, actually. And I did raise this up a little bit, but in all honesty, I probably could have raised it up another inch. I, I did it about half an inch, it could have been another whole full inch so that way my bra just did not get exposed at all in this dress. So that's something that you're really going to have to pay attention to when you're making this dress. Now when it came around to sizing, I used my upper bust measurement across the top here. 
I used this measurement and that fell into the size large for this dress. And then I still did the one inch full bust adjustments. So that way it just accommodated the girls. So here's another sizing tip. My hips are actually outside the range for the Vogue pattern itself. And so when I did my full bust adjustment, I rotated the dart in the pattern down. So that way it gave me the fullness going down the actual dress, down the torso in the front here. And that actually helped accommodate my the extra width in my hips. So if you're like me and you find that your measurements are falling outside of these Vogue patterns or any pattern in particular, the first thing that you want to do is really look at the amount of ease that is in the pattern because you you may not like an additional six or eight inches of ease around your hips. For me personally, I don't. Um, four inches of ease tends to be tends to be where I like to cut things off. And then if you're doing things like a full bust adjustment, um, you know you can always rotate darts to add additional width down towards the bottom of your dress. So that's just a quick little tip for you if you find that you're falling outside of the range but you still like the design and want to make it. All in all, I feel that this dress was really easy to sew. It came together beautifully. Um, I think the fabric paired with the pattern was just, it was a great match in terms of sewing. And you all, I, I would make this again. I highly recommend it to all of you who are maybe thinking about making your own maxi or a shorter dress because that shorter version is really cute too. Immediately yes. Immediately yes. Because how was I ever insecure when I look like this? When I look like this, look at the material, baby. Yes, I will be doing too much. Yes, I will be extra. So get with the times, baby. You should do that too. Because listen, disrespectfully, I am acting up this month, this season, this summer. <laughs> well, I hope you like this dress as much as I do because I felt like a million bucks in it. And you all, until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.